Oxford OKS Frode, is a university city in south-central England and the county town of Oxfordshire. With a population of approximately 155,000, it is the 52nd largest city in the United Kingdom, with one of the fastest growing populations in the UK, and it remains the most ethnically diverse area in Oxfordshire County. The city is 51 miles 82 kilometers from London, 61 miles 98 kilometers from Bristol, 59 miles 95 kilometers from Southampton, 57 miles 92 kilometers from Birmingham and 24 miles 39 kilometers from Reading. The city is known worldwide as the home of the University of Oxford, the oldest university in the English-speaking world. Buildings in Oxford demonstrate notable examples of every English architectural period since the late Saxon period. Oxford is known as the City of Dreaming Spires, a term coined by poet Matthew Arnold. Oxford has a broad economic base. Its industries include motor manufacturing, education, publishing and a large number of information technology and science-based businesses, some being academic offshoots. History Topic: Medieval. Oxford was first settled in Anglo-Saxon times and was initially known as Oxenaforda, meaning Ford of the Oxen. According to the English Place Name Society, who base their result on a passing reference in Florence of Worcester's work Chronicon ex Chronicis, Fords were more common than bridges at that time. It began with the establishment of a river crossing for oxen around AD 900. In the 10th century, Oxford became an important military frontier town between the kingdoms of Mercia and Wessex and was on several occasions raided by Danes. In 1002, many Danes were killed in Oxford during the England-wide St. Brice's Day Massacre, a killing of Danes ordered by King Ethelred the Unready. The skeletons of more than 30 suspected victims were unearthed in 2008 during the course of building work at St. John's College. The massacre was a contributing factor to King Swain I of Denmark's invasion of England in 1003 and the sacking of Oxford by the Danes in 1004. Oxford was heavily damaged during the Norman invasion of 1066. Following the conquest, the town was assigned to a governor, Robert Doyley, who ordered the construction of Oxford Castle to confirm Norman authority over the area. The castle has never been used for military purposes and its remains survive to this day. Doily set up a monastic community in the castle consisting of a chapel and living quarters for monks Saint George in the, castle. the community never grew large but it earned its place in history as one of Britain's oldest places of formal education. It was there that in 1139 Geoffrey of Monmouth wrote his History of the Kings of Britain, a compilation of Arthurian legends. Additionally, there is evidence of Jews living in the city as early as 1141, and during the 12th century the Jewish community is estimated to have numbered about 80 to 100. The city was besieged during the anarchy in 1142. In 1191, a city charter stated in Latin Be it known to all those present and future that we, the citizens of Oxford of the Commune of the City and of the Merchant Guild, have given, and by this, our present charter, confirm the donation of the island of Midney with all those things pertaining to it, to the Church of St. Mary at Osney and to the canons serving God in that place. 
Since, every year, at Michaelmas the said canons render half a mark of silver for their tenure at the time when we have ordered it as witnesses the legal deed of our ancestors which they made concerning the gift of this same island, and besides, because we have undertaken on our own part and on behalf of our heirs to guarantee the aforesaid island to the same canons wheresoever and against all men, they themselves, by this guarantee, will pay to us and our heirs each year at Easter another half mark which we have demanded, and we and our heirs faithfully will guarantee the aforesaid tenement to them for the service of the aforesaid mark annually for all matters and all services. We have made this concession and confirmation in the common council of the city and we have confirmed it with our common seal. These are those who have made this concession and confirmation. There follows a list of witnesses, ending with the phrase, "...and all the commune of the city of Oxford." Oxford's prestige was enhanced by its charter granted by King Henry II, granting its citizens the same privileges and exemptions as those enjoyed by the capital of the kingdom, and various important religious houses were founded in or near the city. Oxford's status as a liberty obtained from this period until the 19th century. A grandson of King John established Ruley Abbey for the Cistercian Order, and friars of various orders Dominicans, Franciscans, Carmelites, Augustinians and Trinitarians all had houses of varying importance at Oxford. Parliaments were often held in the city during the 13th century. The provisions of Oxford were instigated by a group of barons led by Simon de Montfort. These documents are often regarded as England's first written constitution. Richard I of England reigned the 6th of July 1189 to the 6th of April 1199 and John King of England reigned the 6th of April 1199 to the 19th of October 1216 the sons of Henry II of England were both born at Beaumont Palace in Oxford on the 8th of September 1157 and the 24th of December 1166 respectively a plaque in Beaumont Street commemorates these events. Topic: <laughs> University of Oxford. The University of Oxford is first mentioned in 12th century records. Of the hundreds of Aulerian houses that sprang up across the city, only St. Edmund Hall c. 1225 remains. What put an end to the halls was the emergence of colleges. Oxford's earliest colleges were University College 1249, Balliol 1263, and Merton 1264. These colleges were established at a time when Europeans were starting to translate the writings of Greek philosophers. These writings challenged European ideology, inspiring scientific discoveries and advancements in the arts, as society began to see itself in a new way. These colleges at Oxford were supported by the Church in the hope of reconciling Greek philosophy and Christian theology. The relationship between «town and gown» has often been uneasy, as many as 93 students and townspeople were killed in the St. Scholastica Day Riot of 1355. The sweating sickness epidemic in 1517 was particularly devastating to Oxford and Cambridge where it killed half of both cities' populations, including many students and dons. Christ Church Cathedral, Oxford is unique in combining a college chapel and a cathedral in one foundation. Originally the Priory Church of St. Frideswide, the building was extended and incorporated into the structure of the Cardinal's College shortly before its refounding as Christ Church in 1546, since when it has functioned as the Cathedral of the Diocese of Oxford. 
The Oxford Martyrs were tried for heresy in 1555 and subsequently burnt at the stake, on what is now Broad Street, for their religious beliefs and teachings. The three martyrs were the bishops Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley, and the Archbishop Thomas Cranmer. The Martyrs Memorial stands nearby, round the corner to the north on St. Giles. Early modern English Civil War During the English Civil War, Oxford housed the court of Charles I in 1642, after the King was expelled from London. The town yielded to parliamentarian forces under General Fairfax in the Siege of Oxford of 1646. It later housed the court of Charles II during the Great Plague of London in 1665–66. Although reluctant to do so, he was forced to evacuate when the plague got too close. The city suffered two serious fires in 1644 and 1671. Late modern In 1790, the Oxford Canal connected the city with Coventry. The Duke's Cut was completed by the Duke of Marlborough in 1789 to link the new canal with the River Thames, and, in 1796, the Oxford Canal Company built its own link to the Thames, at Isis Lock. In 1844, the Great Western Railway linked Oxford with London via Didcot and Reading, and other rail routes soon followed. In the 19th century, the controversy surrounding the Oxford movement in the Anglican Church drew attention to the city as a focus of theological thought. A permanent military presence was established in the city with the completion of Cowley Barracks in 1876. Local government in Oxford was reformed by the Municipal Corporations Act 1835, and the boundaries of the borough were extended to include a small area east of the River Charwell. The boundaries were further extended in 1889 to add the areas of Grand Pont and New Hinksey, south of the Thames, which were transferred from Berkshire to Oxfordshire. At the same time Summertown and the western part of Cowley were also added to the borough. In 1890 Oxford became a county borough. Oxford Town Hall was built by Henry T. Hare, the foundation stone was laid on 6 July 1893 and opened by the future King Edward VII on 12 May 1897. The site has been the seat of local government since the Guild Hall of 1292 and though Oxford is a city and a Lord Mayoralty, the building is still called by its traditional name of Town Hall. Topic: 20th and 21st centuries. During the First World War, the population of Oxford changed. The number of university members was significantly reduced as students, fellows and staff enlisted. Some of their places in college accommodation were taken by soldiers in training. Another reminder of the ongoing war was found in the influx of wounded and disabled soldiers, who were treated in new hospitals housed in university buildings, including the Examination School, Town Hall, and Somerville College. By the early 20th century, Oxford was experiencing rapid industrial and population growth, with the printing and publishing industries becoming well established by the 1920s. 
In 1929 the boundaries of the city were extended to include the suburbs of Headington, Cowley and Ifley to the east, and Wolvercote to the north. Also during the 1920s, the economy and society of Oxford underwent a huge transformation as William Morris established Morris Motors Limited to mass-produce cars in Cowley, on the southeastern edge of the city. By the early 1970s over 20,000 people worked in Cowley at the huge Morris Motors and pressed steel Fisher plants. By this time, Oxford was a city of two halves, the University City to the west of Magdalen Bridge and the car town to the east. This led to the witticism that, "'Oxford is the left bank of Cowley." Cowley suffered major job losses in the 1980s and 1990s during the decline of British Leyland, but is now producing the successful Mini for BMW on a smaller site. A large area of the original car manufacturing facility at Cowley was demolished in the 1990s, and is now the site of the Oxford Business Park. During the Second World War, Oxford was largely ignored by the German air raids during the Blitz, perhaps due to the lack of heavy industry such as steelworks or shipbuilding that would have made it a target, although it was still affected by the rationing and influx of refugees fleeing London and other cities. The university's colleges served as temporary military barracks and training areas for soldiers before deployment. On 6 May 1954, Roger Bannister, a 25 year old medical student, ran the first authenticated sub four minute mile at the Ifley Road running track in Oxford. Although he had previously studied at Oxford University, Bannister was studying at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School in London at the time, Oxford's second university, Oxford Brookes University, formerly the Oxford School of Art, then Oxford Polytechnic, based at Headington Hill, was given its charter in 1991 and for the last ten years has been voted the best new university in the UK. It was named to honor the school's founding principal, John Henry Brooks. The influx of migrant labor to the car plants and hospitals, recent immigration from South Asia, and a large student population, have given Oxford a notably cosmopolitan character, especially in the Headington and Cowley Road areas with their many bars, cafes, restaurants, clubs, Asian shops and fast food outlets and the annual Cowley Road Carnival. Oxford is one of the most diverse small cities in Britain. The most recent population estimates for 2005 showed that 27% of the population were from ethnic minority groups, including 16.2% from non-white ethnic minority ethnic groups ONS. These figures do not take into account more recent international migration into the city. More than 10,000 people from overseas have registered for national insurance numbers in Oxford in 2005 06 and 2006 07. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Topic Physical Topic Location Oxford's latitude and longitude are 51 degrees 45 07 N 1 degree 15 minutes 28 seconds west or grid reference SP 513061, a Carfax Tower, which is usually considered the center. 
Oxford is 24 miles 39 kilometers northwest of Reading, 26 miles 42 kilometers northeast of Swindon, 36 miles 58 kilometers east of Cheltenham and 43 miles 69 kilometers east of Gloucester, 29 miles 47 kilometers southwest of Milton Keynes, 38 miles 61 km Kilometers southeast of Evesham, 43 miles 69 kilometers south of Rugby and 51 miles 82 kilometers west northwest of London. The rivers Charwell and Thames, also sometimes known as the Isis locally from the Latinized name Thamesis, run through Oxford and meet south of the city centre. Topic. Climate Oxford has a maritime temperate climate Copen, CFB. Precipitation is uniformly distributed throughout the year and is provided mostly by weather systems that arrive from the Atlantic. The lowest temperature ever recorded in Oxford was minus 16.6 degrees Celsius, 2.1 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1982. The highest temperature ever recorded in Oxford is 35.6 degrees Celsius, 96 degrees Fahrenheit in August 2003 during the 2003 European heat wave. Oxford's climate is similar to that of Pershaw, Worcestershire. The average conditions below are from the Radcliffe Meteorological Station. It boasts the longest series of temperature and rainfall records for one site in Britain. These records are continuous from January 1815. Irregular observations of rainfall, cloud, and temperature exist from 1767. Topic: Human. Twenty-two percent of the population come from Black or ethnic minority (BME) groups. Topic: Suburbs. Aside from the city centre, there are several suburbs and neighbourhoods within the borders of City of Oxford, including Blackbird Lays, Cowley, Temple Cowley, Ifley, Littlemore, Rose Hill, Cutslow, Headington, New Marston, Jericho. North Oxford, Parktown, Norham Manor, Walton Manor, Osney, Summertown, Sunnymead, Waterways, Wolvercote. Suburbs and neighbourhoods outside the city boundaries include Botley, Cumnor Hill, Dean Court. North Hinksy. Topic: Green Belt. Oxford is at the center of the Oxford Green Belt, which is an environmental and planning policy that regulates the rural space in Oxfordshire surrounding the city, which aims to prevent urban sprawl and minimize convergence with nearby settlements. The policy has been blamed for the large rise in house prices in Oxford, making it the least affordable city in the UK outside London, with estate agents calling for brownfield land inside the Green Belt to be released for new housing. The vast majority of area covered is outside the city, but there are some green spaces within that are covered by the designation such as much of the Thames and Charwell River flood meadows, and the village of Binsey, along with several smaller portions on the fringes. 
Other landscape features and places of interest covered include Cutslow Park and the Mini Railway Attraction, the University Parks, Hogacre Common Eco Park, numerous sports grounds, Aston's 8, St. Margaret's Church and Well, and Wolvercote Common and Community Orchard. Topic. Economy Oxford's economy includes manufacturing, publishing and science-based industries as well as education, research and tourism. Topic. Car production Oxford has been an important centre of motor manufacturing since Morris Motors was established in the city in 1910. The principal production site for mini cars, now owned by BMW, is in the Oxford suburb of Cowley. Topic. Publishing Oxford University Press, a department of the University of Oxford, is based in the city, although it no longer operates its own paper mill and printing house. The city is also home to the UK operations of Wiley Blackwell, Elsevier and several smaller publishing houses. Topic. Science and technology The presence of the university has given rise to many science and technology-based businesses, including Oxford Instruments, Research Machines and Sophos. The university established ISIS Innovation in 1987 to promote technology transfer. The Oxford Science Park was established in 1990, and the Begbrick Science Park, owned by the university, lies north of the city. Oxford increasingly has a reputation for being a centre of digital innovation, as epitomised by Digital Oxford. Several startups, including Passel, Brainomics, Labstep, and more, are based in Oxford. Topic. Education The presence of the university has also led to Oxford becoming a centre for the education industry. Companies often draw their teaching staff from the pool of Oxford University students and graduates, and, especially for EFL education, use their Oxford location as a selling point. Topic brewing There is a long history of brewing in Oxford. Several of the colleges had private breweries, one of which, at Brasenose, survived until 1889. In the 16th century brewing and malting appear to have been the most popular trades in the city. There were breweries in Brewer Street and Paradise Street, near the Castle Mill Stream. The rapid expansion of Oxford and the development of its railway links after the 1840s facilitated expansion of the brewing trade. As well as expanding the market for Oxford's brewers, railways enabled brewers further from the city to compete for a share of its market. By 1874 there were nine breweries in Oxford and 13 brewers' agents in Oxford shipping beer in from elsewhere. The nine breweries were, Flowers & Co. in Cowley Road, Halls St. Giles Brewery, Halls Swan Brewery, see below, Hanley's City Brewery in Queen Street, Le Mills's Brewery in St. Ebbs, Morell's Lion Brewery in St. Thomas Street, see below, Simmons's Brewery in Queen Street, Weaving's Eagle Brewery, by 1869 the Eagle Steam Brewery, in Park End Street and Wooten and 
Cole St. Clements Brewery, the Swan's Nest Brewery, later the Swan Brewery, was established by the early 18th century in Paradise Street, and in 1795 was acquired by William Hall. The brewery became known as Hall's Oxford Brewery, which acquired other local breweries. Hall's Brewery was acquired by Samuel Allsop and Sons in 1926, after which it ceased brewing in Oxford. Morell's was founded in 1743 by Richard Tawney. He formed a partnership in 1782 with Mark and James Morrell, who eventually became the owners. After an acrimonious family dispute, this much loved brewery was closed in 1998, the beer brand names being taken over by the Thomas Hardy Burtonwood Brewery, while the 132 Tide pubs were bought by Michael Cannon, owner of the American hamburger chain Fuddruckers, through a new company, Morals of Oxford. The new owners sold most of the pubs on to Green King in 2002. The Lion Brewery was converted into luxury apartments in 2002. Topic: <laughs> Bell Founding. The Taylor family of Loughborough had a bell foundry in Oxford between 1786 and 1854. Topic: <laughs> Shopping. Broad Street, Clarendon Shopping Centre, Cornmarket Street, George Street. Golden Cross The High Street Little Clarendon Street Queen Street, Oxford The Covered Market Turl Street Westgate Shopping Centre Gloucester Green Cowley Road Outside the City Centre Banbury Road, Summertown, Oxford Botley Road, Oxford Cowley Retail Park, Cowley, Oxford Cowley Road, Oxford Ifley Road, Oxford London Road, Headington, Oxford North Parade, Oxford St. Clements, Oxford Templars Square Shopping Centre, Cowley, Oxford Walton Street, Jericho, Oxford New Botley Landmarks Oxford has numerous major tourist attractions, many belonging to the university and colleges. As well as several famous institutions, the town centre is home to Carfax Tower and the University Church of St. Mary the Virgin, both of which offer views over the spires of the city. Many tourists shop at the historic Covered Market. In the summer punting on the Thames, Isis and the Charwell is popular. Topic: University of Oxford. The University of Oxford is the oldest university in the English-speaking world and one of the most famous and prestigious higher education institutions of the world, averaging nine applications to every available place and attracting 40% of its academic staff and 17% of undergraduates from overseas. It is currently ranked as the world's number one university, according to the Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Oxford is renowned for its tutorial based method of teaching, with students attending an average of one one hour tutorial a week. The city centre 
As well as being a major draw for tourists, 9.1 million in 2008, similar in 2009, Oxford City Centre has many shops, several theatres and an ice rink. The historic buildings make this location a popular target for film and TV crews. The city centre is relatively small, and is centred on Carfax, a crossroads which forms the junction of Cornmarket Street pedestrianised, Queen Street semi-pedestrianised, St Aldgate's and the High. Cornmarket Street and Queen Street are home to Oxford's various chain stores, as well as a small number of independent retailers, one of the longest established of which is Boswell's, founded in 1738. St. Aldgate's has few shops but several local government buildings, including the town hall, the city police station and local council offices. The high, the word street is traditionally omitted, is the longest of the four streets and has a number of independent and high-end chain stores, but mostly university and college buildings. There are two small shopping malls in the city centre, the Clarendon Centre and the Westgate Centre. The Westgate Centre is named for the original Westgate in the city wall, and is at the west end of Queen Street. A major redevelopment and expansion to 750,000 square feet 70,000 square meters, with a new 230,000 square feet 21,000 square meters John Lewis department store and a number of new homes, was completed in October 2017. Blackwell's Bookshop is a large bookshop which claims the largest single room devoted to book sales in the whole of Europe, the cavernous Norrington Room, 10,000 square feet. Topic: The Bodleian Library. The University of Oxford maintains the largest university library system in the UK, and, with over 11 million volumes housed on 120 miles 190 km of shelving, the Bodleian Group is the second largest library in the UK, after the British Library. The Bodleian is a legal deposit library, which means that it is entitled to request a free copy of every book published in the UK. As such, its collection is growing at a rate of over 3 miles 5 km of shelving every year. Visitors can take a guided tour of the old Bodleian Library to see inside its historic rooms, including the 15th century Divinity School, medieval Duke Humphreys Library, and the Radcliffe Camera. The Western Library was redeveloped and reopened in 2015, with a new shop, cafe and exhibition galleries for visitors. <laughs> Museums and galleries Oxford is home to many museums, galleries, and collections, most of which are free of admission charges and are major tourist attractions. The majority are departments of the University of Oxford. The first of these to be established was the Ashmolean Museum, the world's first university museum, and the oldest museum in the UK. Its first building was erected in 1678–1683 to house a cabinet of curiosities given to the University of Oxford in 1677. The museum reopened in 2009 after a major redevelopment. It holds significant collections of art and archaeology, including works by Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Turner, and Picasso, as well as treasures such as the Scorpion Macehead, the Parian Marble and the Alfred Jewel. It also contains 
the Messiah. A pristine Stradivarius violin, regarded by some as one of the finest examples in existence, the University Museum of Natural History holds the university's zoological, entomological and geological specimens. It is housed in a large neo-Gothic building on Parks Road, in the university's science area. Among its collection are the skeletons of a Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops, and the most complete remains of a dodo found anywhere in the world. It also hosts the Simoni Professorship of the Public Understanding of Science, currently held by Marcus du Sautoy. Adjoining the Museum of Natural History is the Pitt Rivers Museum, founded in 1884, which displays the university's archaeological and anthropological collections, currently holding over 500,000 items. It recently built a new research annex. Its staff have been involved with the teaching of anthropology at Oxford since its foundation, when, as part of his donation, General Augustus Pitt Rivers stipulated that the university establish a lectureship in anthropology. The Museum of the History of Science is housed on Broad Street in the world's oldest surviving purpose built museum building. It contains 15,000 artifacts, from antiquity to the 20th century, representing almost all aspects of the history of science. In the university's Faculty of Music on St. Aldgate's is the Bate Collection of Musical Instruments, a collection mostly of instruments from Western classical music, from the medieval period onwards. Christ Church Picture Gallery holds a collection of over 200 old master paintings. The university also has an archive at the Oxford University Press Museum. Other museums and galleries in Oxford include Modern Art Oxford, the Museum of Oxford, the Oxford Castle, and the Story Museum. Topic. Other attractions Christ Church Cathedral, Oxford The Headington Shark Oxford University Press Oxford Botanic Garden Sheldonian Theatre Street. Mary the Virgin Church Radcliffe Observatory Oxford Oratory Malmaison Hotel, located in a converted prison in part of the medieval Oxford Castle Topic. Parks and nature walks Oxford is a very green city, with several parks and nature walks within the Ring Road, as well as several sites just outside the Ring Road. In total, 28 nature reserves exist within or just outside Oxford Ring Road, including University Parks Mesopotamia Rock Edge Nature Reserve Lye Valley South Park C.S. Lewis Nature Reserve Shotover Nature Reserve Port Meadow Cutslow Park Topic Transport Topic Air In addition to the larger airports in the region, Oxford is served by nearby Oxford Airport, in Kidlington. The airport is also home to Oxford Aviation Academy, an airline pilot flight training center, and several private jet companies. Topic buses Bus services in Oxford and its suburbs are run by the Oxford Bus Company and Stagecoach Oxfordshire as well as other operators including Arriva Shires and Essex and Thames Travel. 
Arriva Shires and Essex operates Sapphire Route 280 to Aylesbury via Wheatley, Tame and Haddenham seven days a week, at a frequency of up to every 20 minutes. The new Sapphire buses have three pin power sockets, leather seats and free, onboard Wi-Fi. Oxford has five park and ride car parks with frequent bus links to the city centre, Pear Tree, Bus 300, Redbridge, Bus 300, Seacourt, Bus 400. Thornhill Bus 400, Water Eaton and Oxford Parkway Bus 500. There are also bus services to the John Radcliffe Hospital from Thornhill and Water Eaton, Oxford Parkway, and to the Churchill and Nuffield Hospitals from Thornhill. As of 2015, Oxford has one of the largest urban park and ride networks in the UK. Its five sites have a combined capacity of 4,930 car parking spaces, served by 20 Oxford Bus Company double-deck buses with a combined capacity of 1,695 seats. By comparison, York Park and Ride has six sites with a combined total of 4,970 parking spaces served by 35 First York buses, but they are single-deckers with a combined capacity of 1,548 seats. More than 58% of Oxford Bus Company customers use the ITSO Limited Smart Card. In November 2014, all Oxford Bus Company buses within the Oxford Smart Zone area have free Wi Fi installed. Hybrid buses, which use battery power with a small diesel generator, began to be used in Oxford on 15 July 2010, on Stagecoach Oxfordshire's Route 1, City Centre. Centre, Cowley, Blackbird Lays. Both Stagecoach and Oxford Bus Company now operate numerous hybrid buses in the city. In 2014 Oxford Bus introduced a fleet of 20 new buses with flywheel energy storage fares, on the services it operates under contract for Brooks University. Whereas electric hybrids use battery storage and an electric motor to save fuel, Fez uses a high-speed flywheel. Topic. Coach The Oxford to London coach route offers a frequent coach service to London. The X90 Oxford London service is operated by the Oxford Bus Company, whilst the Oxford Tube is operated by Stagecoach Oxfordshire. The Oxford Bus Company also runs the airline services to Heathrow and Gatwick airports. There is a bus station at Gloucester Green, used mainly by the London and airport buses, National Express coaches and other long-distance buses including Route X5 to Milton Keynes and Cambridge and Stagecoach Gold Routes S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S8 and S9. Cycling. Among UK cities, Oxford has the second highest percentage of people cycling to work. Topic: Rail. <inaudible> 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 In 1844, the Great Western Railway linked Oxford with London Paddington via Didcot and Reading. In 1851, the London and North Western Railway opened its own route from Oxford to London Euston, via Bicester, Bletchley and Watford, and in 1864 a third route, also to Paddington, running via Tame, High Wycombe and Maidenhead, was provided. This was shortened in 19 by the opening of a direct route between High Wycombe and London Paddington by way of Denham. 
The distance from Oxford to London was 78 miles (125.5 kilometers) via Bletchley, 63.5 miles (102.2 kilometers) via Didcot and Reading, 63.25 miles (101.8 kilometers) via Tame and Maidenhead, and 55.75 miles (89.7 kilometers via Denham. Only the original Didcot route is still in use for its full length, portions of the others remain. There were also routes to the north and west. The line to Banbury was opened in 1850, and was extended to Birmingham Snow Hill in 1852, a route to Worcester opened in 1853. A branch to Whitney was opened in 1862, which was extended to Fairford in 1873. The line to Whitney and Fairford closed in 1962, but the others remain open. Oxford has had three main railway stations. The first was opened at Grand Pont in 1844, but this was a terminus, inconvenient for routes to the north. It was replaced by the present station on Park End Street in 1852 with the opening of the Birmingham route. Another terminus, at Rooley Road, was opened in 1851 to serve the Bletchley route. This station closed in 1951. There have also been a number of local railway stations, all of which are now closed. A fourth station, Oxford Parkway, is just outside the city, at the park and ride site near Kidlington. Oxford Railway Station is half a mile about one kilometer, west of the city centre. The station is served by cross-country services to Bournemouth, Manchester Piccadilly and Newcastle, Great Western Railway, who manage the station, services to London Paddington, Banbury and Hereford and Chiltern Railways services to London Marylebone. The present railway station opened in 1852. Oxford is the junction for a short branch line to Bicester, which was upgraded to 100 miles per hour, 161 kilometers per hour during an 18-month closure in 2014-2015 and is anticipated to be extended to form the planned east-west rail line to Cambridge. Chiltern Railways now connects Oxford to London Marylebone via Vista Village, having sponsored the building of about 400 metres of new track between Vista Village and the Chiltern Main Line southwards in 2014. The route serves High Wycombe and London Marylebone, avoiding London Paddington and Didcot Parkway. East-West Rail is proposed to continue through Bletchley, for Milton Keynes Central, to Bedford, Cambridge, and ultimately Ipswich and Norwich, thus providing alternative route to East Anglia without needing to travel via, and connect between, the London mainline terminals. Topic rail airport links from Oxford Station direct trains run to Hayes and Harlington where interchange with the Heathrow Connect train links with Heathrow Airport. Passengers can change at Reading for connecting trains to Gatwick Airport. Some cross-country trains run direct services to Birmingham International as well as further afield Southampton Airport Parkway. Topic. River and Canal Oxford was historically an important port on the River Thames, with this section of the river being called the Isis. The Oxford Burcock Commission in the 17th century attempted to improve navigation to Oxford. Ifley Lock and Osney Lock lie within the bounds of the city. In the 18th century the Oxford Canal was built to connect Oxford with the Midlands. Commercial traffic has given way to recreational use of the river and canal. 
Oxford was the original base of Salter's Steamers, founded in 1858, which was a leading racing boat builder that played an important role in popularizing pleasure boating on the Upper Thames. The firm runs a regular service from Folly Bridge downstream to Abingdon and beyond. Topic: Roads. Oxford's central location on several transport routes means that it has long been a crossroads city with many coaching inns, although road traffic is now strongly discouraged from using the city centre. From 2020, a new zero emission zone will mean any vehicles which are not zero emission will be banned from the city centre during certain hours. The Oxford Ring Road surrounds the city centre and close suburbs Marston, Ifley, Cowley, and Headington. It consists of the A34 to the west, a 330 yard section of the A44, the A40 north and northeast, A414. A423 to the east. It is a dual carriageway, except for a 330 yard section of the A40 where two residential service roads are joined, and was completed in 1966. A roads The main roads to, from Oxford are a34 – A trunk route connecting the North and Midlands to the port of Southampton. It leaves J9 of the M40 north of Oxford, passes west of Oxford to Newbury and Winchester to the south and joins the M3 12.7 miles kilometers north of Southampton. Since the completion of the Newbury Bypass in 1998, this section of the A34 has been an entirely grade-separated dual carriageway. Historically the A34 led to Bicester, Banbury, Stratford-upon-Avon, Birmingham and Manchester, but since the completion of the M40 it disappears at J9 and re-emerges 50 miles 80 km north at Solihull. A40 leading east dual to J8 of the M40 motorway, then an alternative route to High Wycombe and London, leading west part dual to Whitney then bisecting Cheltenham, Gloucester, Monmouth, Abergavenny, passing Brecon, Clandovery, Carmarthen and Haverford West to reach Fishguard. A44 which begins in Oxford, leading past Evesham to Worcester, Hereford and Aberystwyth. A420 which also begins in Oxford and leads to Bristol passing Swindon and Chippenham. Topic. Motorway The city is served by the M40 motorway, which connects London to Birmingham. The M40 approached Oxford in 1974, leading from London to Waterstock, where the A40 continued to Oxford. When the M40 extension to Birmingham was completed in January 1991, it curved sharply north, and a mile of the old motorway became a spur. The M40 comes no closer than 6 miles .7 kilometers away from the city centre, curving to the east of Otmore. The M40 meets the A34 to the north of Oxford. Topic. Education Topic. Schools Topic. Universities and colleges There 
are two universities in Oxford, the University of Oxford and Oxford Brookes University, as well as the specialist further and higher education institution Ruskin College that is an affiliate of the University of Oxford. The Islamic Azad University also has a campus near Oxford. Media. As well as the BBC national radio stations, Oxford and the surrounding area has several local stations, including BBC Oxford, Heart Thames Valley, Destiny 105, Jack FM and Jack FM 2 along with Oxide, Oxford Student Radio, which went on terrestrial radio at 87.7 MHz FM in late May 2005. A local TV station, 6TV, the Oxford Channel, was also available but closed in April 2009. A service operated by That's TV, originally called That's Oxford, now That's Oxfordshire, took to the airwaves in 2015. The city is home to a BBC TV newsroom which produces an opt-out from the main South Today programme broadcast from Southampton. Popular local papers include the Oxford Times Compact, Weekly, its sister papers the Oxford Mail, Tabloid, Daily, and the Oxford Star, Tabloid, Free and Delivered, and Oxford Journal, Tabloid, Weekly Free Pickup. Oxford is also home to several advertising agencies. Daily Information, known locally as Daily Info, is an events and advertising news sheet which has been published since 1964 and now provides a connected website. Night Shift is a monthly local free magazine that has covered the Oxford music scene since 1991. In 2003, DIY grassroots non corporate media has begun to spread. Independent and community newspapers include the Jericho Echo and Oxford Prospect. Culture Theatres and cinemas Burton Taylor Studio, Gloucester Street New Theatre, George Street Odeon Cinema, George Street Odeon Cinema, Magdalen Street Old Fire Station Theatre, George Street O'Reilly Theatre, Blackhall Road Oxford Playhouse, Beaumont Street Pegasus Theatre, Magdalen Road Phoenix Picture House, Walton Street Ultimate Picture Palace, Cowley Road View Cinema Grenoble Road The North Wall Arts Centre, South Parade Creation Theatre Company Topic: Literature and film. Well-known Oxford-based authors include Brian Aldiss, who lived in Oxford; Vera Britton, undergraduate at Somerville; John Buchan, first Baron Tweedsmuir, attended Brasenose College. Best known for his The 39 Steps, authored 32 novels and many more volumes of history, poetry and essays. A. S. Byatt, undergraduate at Somerville. Susan Cooper, undergraduate at Somerville, best known for her The Dark is Rising sequence. Lewis Carroll, real name Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, student and mathematical lecturer of Christ Church. Colin Dexter, who wrote and set his Inspector Morse detective novels in Oxford. John Donaldson, D, 1989, a poet resident in Oxford in later life. 
Siobhan Dowd, Oxford resident, who was an undergraduate at Lady Margaret Hall, Oxford. Victoria Glendinning, undergraduate at Somerville. Kenneth Graham, educated at St. Edward's School, Oxford. Michael Innes J. I. M. Stewart, of Christ Church. P. D. James, born and died in Oxford. T. E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia, Oxford resident, undergraduate at Jesus, postgraduate at Magdalen. C. S. Lewis, student at University College and Fellow of Magdalen. Iris Murdoch, undergraduate at Somerville and Fellow of St. Anne's. Carola Oman, novelist and biographer, was born and brought up in the city. Ian Pears, undergraduate at Wadham and Oxford resident, whose novel An Instance of the Fingerpost is set in the city. Philip Pullman, undergraduate at Exeter. Dorothy L. Sayers, undergraduate at Somerville. J. R. R. Tolkien, undergraduate at Exeter and later professor of English at Merton. John Wayne, undergraduate at St. John's and later Professor of Poetry at Oxford University 1973–78 Oscar Wilde, a 19th-century poet and author who attended Oxford from 1874–1878. Charles Williams, editor at Oxford University Press, Oxford appears in the following works the Scarlet Pimpernel, Harry Potter, all the films to date, The Chronicles of the Imaginarium Geographica by James A. Owen, Jude the Obscure, 1895 by Thomas Hardy, in which Oxford is thinly disguised as Christminster. Zuleika Dobson, 1911 by Max Beerbohm. Gordy Knight by Dorothy L. Sayers. Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. A Question of Upbringing by Anthony Powell. Second Generation novel by Raymond Williams. Young Sherlock Holmes by Steven Spielberg. Inspector Morse 1987 Where the Rivers Meet 1988 trilogy set in Oxford by John Wayne All Souls 1989 by Javier Marias The Children of Men 1992 by P D James Doomsday Book 1992 by Connie Willis his Dark Materials 1995 onwards by Philip Pullman Tomorrow Never Dies 1997 The Saint 1997 102 Dalmatians 2000 Endymion Spring 2006 by Matthew Skelton Lewis 2007 the Oxford Murders, 2008. Mister Nice, 2010. The Story of Howard Marks. X Men: First Class, 2011. Endeavor, 2012. The Reluctant Cannibals, 2013, by Ian Flitcroft. Mamma Mia. Here We Go Again, 2018. Topic: Music. Hollywell Music Room is said to be the oldest purpose-built music room in Europe, and hence Britain's first concert hall. Tradition has it that George Frideric Handel performed there, though there is little evidence. 
Joseph Hayden was awarded an honorary doctorate by Oxford University in 1791, an event commemorated by three concerts of his music at the Sheldonian Theatre, directed by the composer and from which his Symphony No. 92 earned the nickname of the «Oxford» Symphony. Victorian composer Sir John Stainer was organist at Magdalen College and later professor of music at the university, and is buried in Hollywell Cemetery, Oxford, and its surrounding towns and villages, have produced many successful bands and musicians in the field of popular music. The most notable Oxford act is Radiohead, who all met at nearby Abingdon School, though other well-known local bands include Supergrass, Ride, Swerve Driver, Lab 4, Tallulah Gosh, The Candy Skins, Medal, The Egg, Unbelievable Truth, Hurricane No. 1 Crackout, Goldrush and more recently, Young Knives, Foles, Glass Animals, Dive Dive and Stornaway. These and many other bands from over 30 years of the Oxford music scene's history feature in the documentary film Anyone Can Play Guitar. In 1997, Oxford played host to Radio 1's Sound City, with acts such as Travis, Bentley Rhythm Ace, Embrace, Spiritualized and DJ Shadow playing in various venues around the city including Oxford Brookes University. It is also home to several brass bands, notably the City of Oxford Silver Band, founded in 1887. Topic: Sport. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Football. The city's leading football club, Oxford United, are currently in League One, the third tier of league football, though they enjoyed some success in the past in the upper reaches of the league. They were elected to the Football League in 1962, reached the third division after three years and the second division after six, and most notably reached the first division in 1985 to 23 years after joining the Football League. They spent three seasons in the top flight, winning the Football League Cup a year after promotion. The 18 years that followed relegation in 1988 saw their fortunes decline gradually, though a brief respite in 1996 saw them win promotion to the new post-Premier League Division 1 in 1996 and stay there for three years. They were relegated to the Football Conference in 2006, staying there for four seasons before returning to the Football League in 2010. They play at the Kasim Stadium, named after former chairman Firoz Kasim, which is near the Blackbird Lays housing estate and has been their home since relocation from the Manor Ground in 2001. The club's notable former managers include Ian Greaves, Jim Smith, Morris Evans, Brian Horton, Ramon Diaz and Dennis Smith. Notable former players include John Aldridge, Ray Horton, Tommy Caton, Matt Elliott, Dean Saunders and Dean Whitehead. Oxford City FC is a semi-professional football club, separate from Oxford United. It plays in the Conference South, the sixth tier, two levels below the Football League in the Pyramid. Oxford City Nomads FC are a semi-professional football club who ground share with Oxford City and play in the Hellenic League. Topic. Rugby League In 2013, Oxford Rugby League entered Rugby League's semi-professional championship one, the third tier of British Rugby League. Oxford Cavaliers, who were formed in 1996, compete at the next level, the Conference League South. 
Oxford University, the Blues, and Oxford Brooks University, the Bulls both compete in the Rugby League BUCS University League. Topic: Rugby Union. Oxford Harlequins RFC is the city's main rugby union team and currently plays in the South West Division. Oxford RFC is the oldest city team and currently plays in the Barks, Bucks and Oxon Championship. Their most famous player was arguably Michael James Parsons, known as Jim Parsons, who was capped by England. Oxford University RFC are the most famous club with more than 300 Oxford players gaining international honours, including Phil de Glanville, Joe Roth, Tyrone Howe, Anton Oliver, Simon Halliday, David Kirk, and Rob Edgerton. London Welsh RFC moved to the Cassam Stadium in 2012 to to fulfill their Premiership entry criteria regarding stadium capacity. At the end of the 2015 season, following relegation, the club left Oxford. <laughs> Speedway and Greyhound racing Oxford Cheetahs motorcycle speedway team has raced at Oxford Stadium in Cowley on and off since 1939. The Cheetahs competed in the Elite League and then the Conference League until 2007. They were Britain's most successful club in the late 80s becoming British League champions in 1985, 1986 and 1989. Four times world champion Hans Nielsen was the club's most successful rider. Greyhound racing took place at the Oxford Stadium from 1939 until 2012 and hosted some of the sport's leading events such as the Pall Mall Stakes, the Cesarowicz and Trafalgar Cup. The stadium remains intact but unused after closing in 2012. Topic: Hockey. There are several hockey clubs based in Oxford. The Oxford Hockey Club, formed after a merger of City of Oxford HC and Rover Oxford HC in 2011, plays most of its home games on the pitch at Oxford Brooks University, Headington Campus, and also uses the pitches at Headington Girls School and Ifley Road. Oxford Hawks has two AstroTurf pitches at Banbury Road North, by Cutslow Park to the north of the city. Topic. Ice hockey Oxford City Stars is the local ice hockey team which plays at Oxford Ice Rink. There is a senior, adults team and a junior, children's team. The Oxford University Ice Hockey Club was formed as an official university sports club in 1921, and traces its history back to a match played against Cambridge in St. Moritz, Switzerland in 1885. The club currently competes in checking Division I of the British University's Ice Hockey Association. American football Oxford Saints is Oxford's senior American football team. One of the longest-running American football clubs in the UK, the Saints were founded in 1983 and have competed for over 30 years against other British teams across the country. Topic. Cricket Oxford University Cricket Club is Oxford's most famous club with more than 300 Oxford players gaining international honours, including Colin Cowdery, Douglas Jardine and Imran Khan. Oxfordshire County Cricket Club play in the Minor Counties League. Topic. 
Topic: Rowing. Oxford University Boat Club compete in the world famous boat race. Since 2007 the club has been based at a training facility and boathouse in Wallingford, south of Oxford, after the original boathouse burnt down in 1999. Oxford is also home to the City of Oxford Rowing Club, based near Donington Bridge. Other sports. Headington Road Runners based at the OXSRAD Sports Facility in Marsh Lane next to Oxford City FC is Oxford's only road running club with an average annual membership exceeding 300. It was the club at which double Olympian Mara Yamauchi started her running career. Topic: <laughs> Twin Towns Oxford is twinned with Bonn, Germany Grenoble, France Leiden, Netherlands Léon, Nicaragua Perm, Russia Ramallah, Palestine Wrocław, Poland Gallery equals equals see also